Hello, with tomorrow, Monday, June 11th, set to play host to Apple's 2012 Worldwide Developers Conference, I thought I'd give you my predictions on what we might see. Now, let, let me start first off by saying I'm not going to talk much about the iPhone or I, or iOS. There's, there's been a massive um, focus on that, really, and uh, although, I, although I think that's warranted, it's not what I personally like to focus on. I'm much more of a macOS person personally, and um, so so that's why I'm going to talk about. There, are, there are plenty, plenty of other places where where you, you can um, go go and find iOS rumors, but that's not what I'm going to be focusing on. But I do, I do acknowledge that um, uh, on Monday we might see the iPhone five. We 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 probably definitely say iOS six and. So there might be predominance of iPhone stuff, but I, I'm going to talk about what might happen in the Mac because it's most interesting to me. Okay, so we've got two um, possible avenues that they could take, or more likely a combination of the two. They could talk about hardware, or they could talk about software. Um, the the, ha the hardware is sort of more complex and. We know less about it, so what I want to focus on really is the software. Although we are going to touch a little bit on the hardware le later. Um, so we presume that one one of the ma ma major things we'll be doing is previewing the next major iteration of uh, Ma macOS 10. That's macOS 10 10.8 Mountain Lion, like. like Snow Leopard was to Leopard, and everything we know about Mountain Lion so far suggests that it's going to be an incremental upgrade, which kind of um, makes us wonder where, whether every two major versions they're just going to do an incremental upgrade and only do one major version every other time. Because we know um, that's what happens with iOS, all the updates so far have been quite incremental and um, and that's just the way it goes. We've al already been told we can now expect a yearly update to the OS so um, if they have to bring out new features every year we, we, we can't expect them to bring out many new features every time and um, this year was the first year it was actually much earlier on in the year that we got a preview of what Mountain Lion is going to be. There's a page on Apple's Apple's website that's showcasing it, but for the first time ever, they didn't they didn't showcase it on a major key keynote event. It was just like a, a, a what was what they sometimes do with a minor a hardware refresh, where they just put a page up on the on the on the website with some details about it, but the there wasn't a major announcement, so that's why I expect um, there to be a lot of focus on Mountain Lion at the keynote because uh, to make up for that for that loss, um, really. And also, we have to remember it's a developers conference, so developers will want to know about the new features so that they can start optimizing their software for it. And um, we already know about. Several major features in um, ma ma mount Mountain Lion. One of them being gate Gatekeeper, and that's what I really want to talk about because um, I think Gatekeeper is a sign of um, not not so good things to come, really, or at least not so good in my opinion. Um, what 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 Gatekeeper is? It gives you the capabilities to say, I I only I only want to be able to install applications from the Mac App Store. So, as with that, that's that's bringing features over from the iPhone, and that's what um, Mountain Line is really intended to do. Um, uh, as with it being a software developers conference, I I don't think that's going to be a very popular feature to talk about because obviously it 
um, that allows less openness for de developers because there, there's a pretty str a stringent um, review pro process for the Mac App Store and it um, costs a fair bit of money to get your app in there and uh, certain, certain, certain developers just won't do it. Um, so that, 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 could, that could be a problem. We, we, we also um, saw some things about Notification Center coming to uh, the Mac. So that, that pull down tray um, that we have from the iPhone and similar to what we have on Android devices, that's coming to the, um, to the Mac to be kind of a portal of your notifications. Um, on your desktop, they're they're also doing push notifications the same way as they are on the iPhone. In that you you you'll get that little box at the side of the uh, screen and giving you a notification there, and then it'll sort of fade away in the background, and and it'll kind of be a replacement for Growl notifications, which is a third party app we currently have. Uh, in in fact, I suspect. From looking at the design, it was uh, um, severe, severely kind of influenced by that. What 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 else? Well, um, we, we I don't think we can expect a, a new a new a new desktop experience. We have certainly some refreshments in line, but I'm I'm expecting and. Um, it to be uh, a relatively minor update and and not and not bring um many many more features than what what what's on um Apple's Apple's website really. Yeah. So ha, ha, having having said that, what what's the price going to be? Well, iOS iOS updates are, are yearly and so so far so far they've been free so. Um, one might expect, especially if it's a, a very minor update, for that trend to be continued. Um, I'm I'm not sure that for op op operating system updates and um, certainly more in, 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 intense than iOS, but we might we might have that happen. Also, and this is something I've just thought of. Uh, iOS devices have. A Delta updating system, which means w when you download an uh, 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 iOS update, it only downloads the changes and not um, not a full copy of the operating system. What, what uh, we could also also see that in the in the Mac, and that worries me a bit because. Um, Traditionally, when when you do that on computers that have a file system, as the Mac currently does, uh, um, file files can get corrupted. So I'm not entirely confident in that as a course of action. But um, we'll have to wait until with that. As 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 for the computers, a lot of people are expecting something to happen with the MacBook Pro, possibly that it will merge with them. MacBook Air and Apple will create a um, more thinner machine that is it has the power of the um, MacBook Pro. I, I certainly think that would make for a more streamlined, um, but by by an experience then would be easier for Apple to manufacture in general. There's also some talk over retina displays being introduced into the um, into the uh, MacBook. So a, a a retina display is about three three hundred pixels per inch. Although, although these would be gorgeous, and the same we have on the iPhone um, and the iPad now, actually. Uh, I do have some concerns about cost, whether 
that would significantly raise the cost of the um, of of the of the venture because we heard some we heard some grumblings about that even when they introduced it into the into the iPad that it would be too expensive and um that that that's a nice little segue actually into what they're gonna do with the de desktop computers. Um I would definitely expect the iMac to be updated slightly thinner design to go, go along with the MacBook Pro because if if the MacBook Pro gets updated I I would lean towards the iMac getting updated because the um in a lot of ways the um MacBook the MacBook Pro is kind of the portable version of the iMac, so I would definitely expect you to see that. In terms of what we're going to see on the inside, um, definitely Ivory Bridge um, processors, Intel's new architecture, um, m maybe at some slightly lower clock speeds, but overall that should give a faster performance. Um, I, I'm hoping we could see solid state drives are stock but I, I don't think that they're, they're cheap enough yet um so I'm not I'm not entirely sure on that some people are saying um well I've just talked about with streamlining it to the MacBook Air some people are going completely the other direction and saying that all we could um have is the or we could Keep the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, but we could bring back the MacBook to be a a, a, a slightly kind of mid-range option between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. I'm gonna go on record right now as saying I wholeheartedly um, do not believe that Apple are ever gonna do that. And um, they're uh, st streamlining the buying and the manufacturing experience. Yeah, that, that's that's why they um that, that's why they got rid of the white MacBook in the first place. So they could bring back a, a MacBook, but I think that would um confuse shoppers, and I don't I don't quite know whether it where it would fit into Apple's portfolio. Um, considering that they've spent so long. Cultivate, cultivating the MacBook Air brand as the uh, kind of consumer consumer level product, and you could argue that although although the power might not be uh, price tag certainly matches that and, and matches also in terms of power what the old MacBooks used to offer. Um, so yeah. And then we have the the two the two ones left the, the Mac Pro and the Mac Mini where we're expecting the Mac Pro to either be killed, which I I I don't think is ever going to happen because as the name implies it, uh, it's the de facto machine for professional customers and professional customers. Although although there isn't a lot of them, they they bring a lot of money to Apple. So I do not think Apple are going to kill off the Mac Pro, the, the iMac, which is the next powerful machine, uh, although it may be powerful enough, it ju just doesn't have the customization options um, that the Mac Pro does, the, the hard drive bay is the, the, the ability to have more than one super drive with the high powered graphics cards, it's missing all those things that Mac Pro uses, the, that's what Mac Pro users, that's what they buy Mac Pros for, those features, so I don't think Apple are going to kill those uh, Um, I'd like to think in the Mac Pro we'd see a case redesign because we haven't seen one for ages, but to, to, be, to be honest, I don't see as uh, Apple really need to redesign the case of, of the Mac Pro, I think it's liked by the, by the people that use it and, and Certainly e e easy to access all the different components. Um, uh, 
I don't see as as much they can do with the Mac Mac Pro without losing any any of those customization options. They could they could make it a bit smaller because it is a very big machine, but I'm not sure how possible that would be because I I heard uh, some rumors from DRB UK actually saying saying that um. The reason Apple went to the larger fans for the most recent Mac Pro is that the larger fans actually reduce noise. So that's maybe the trade-off that Apple are going are going for there. Um, again, I'd love to see a solid-state drive stock in the Mac Pro, but I don't think that's going to happen because even for such a high high power machine at the low end, solid-state drive is still just too expensive um, for that to be a viable option. <laughs> Lastly, the Mac Mini. A rumour that I also heard from DRB UK is that uh, the, the Ivy Bridge Intel's new generation of processors is um, can't be put in the in the Mac Mini for power consumption reasons obviously the Mac Mini is um, in, in terms of footprint and case space it's the smallest of the Mac computers um, and it's also the, the one with the least fans so the, the, there may be some problems with pa power consumption in reference to putting it into Mac Pro for that reason I'd, I, I'm, I'm not sure what Apple going to do because they could put in a modern Sandy Bridge chip, but I, d I don't really see them um, doing that. Oh, okay, so that's the computers over with. Just a few extras, we could see a new version of iLife because I think the um, well, the latest version of iLife is iLife 11, I believe, but and traditionally it's been on a two, two year release cycle. Well, with everything going to the release cycle iOS, I would expect it to be um, on a yearly release cycle now. In terms of what we could see, I don't. Um, I hope iMovie inherits some features from Final Cut Pro 10 because we know from Final Cut Pro 10 that it became more like iMovie, and, and the professional users that loved um, Final Cut didn't. Didn't uh, really, really gel too well with the new version of Final Cut Pro. So I'm hoping that what they do is bring some of the features from Final Cut Pro 10 to iMovie, where they're more comfortable, and um, make make the next version of Final Cut Pro 10 more like it used to be. And um, so yeah, those are just my thoughts on the WWDC and. Um, 2012. Obviously, um, there was a lot of rumours that we may see a new iPhone, the iPhone 6, new case redesign, all, all sorts of stuff flying about, 4G LTE, um, all uh, largest largest display, loads of stuff flying around. You can't you can't be in the tech community without hearing about the iPhone 5. I got uh, record and say. Although I think we might hear things about iOS, I highly, highly doubt we're going to see an iPhone 5 at this event. I think, um, like I said, it's a de developers conference, so they're not going to focus too much on hardware that, that doesn't really pertain to developers. Um, I mean, obviously it does, but not, not, uh, not in the same way that a new operating system or software does. What I'd like to see is a split between hardware and software, but um, I, don't, I, I don't think I can be an even split because Apple just don't tend to do, do that. They tend to focus on one thing and really sort of focus on it. So those are just my thoughts on WWDC 2012. Uh, wh what do you think? Leave your thoughts down in the comments and um, 
thanks very much for watching guys sorry for the long and garbled video I'll see you in the next one bye bye uh, don't forget it's 13 you, can, hours. you can visit my website uh, tomdashrogers.com there's lo lots of stuff on there I'm planning planning on doing a redesign there soon so that, that, sh that should be fun anyway guys I'll see you in the next video bye bye